Well, now they can't wait for it to begin, and begin it will any second now. This, of course, the game here, a spectacle. Well, now they can't wait for it to begin, and begin it will any second now. This, of course, the game here, a spectacle. Well, now they can't wait for it to begin, and begin it will any second now. This, of course, the game here, a spectacle. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Raheem Sterling. He could be the key man for me, Peter, because he's so quick and direct with the ball at his feet. And that low centre of gravity also makes it hard to knock him off the ball. You know, he can turn very quickly. He's also improved his end product in recent years. Has a goal! Goal! Sporting! And Sporting score first! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Sporting have an early lead. Good start. Ruben Diaz. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And it's played forward. Sporting are uh, seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Gets the chance to... Massive leap! It's there! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Sporting are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Sporting have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. 